Almost a century after one of the most regrettable moments in Canadian history, dignitaries and descendants met in Canada's Senate to remember the Chinese Exclusion Act, legislation that impacted generations. The Exclusion Act not only prevented new Chinese immigrants from entering Canada, but it also reinforced the negative stereotypes and prejudices against the Chinese community. Backlash to Chinese immigration led to riots in the early 1900s, and ultimately a law which essentially banned Chinese immigration and forced everyone of Chinese descent, even those born in Canada, to register with the government. For the 24 years it was in place, fewer than 50 Chinese legally came to Canada. The Canada didn't close the door to anybody from any country except the Chinese. That's the hundred years have now go. So that's, his, I think, is very dark history in Canada. Hundreds of viewing parties were held across the country for people to come together and witness the event. We were pretty overt about building a white Canada. UBC professor Henry Yu helped organize this one. He sees parallels between the past legislation and rising anti-Asian racism brought on by the pandemic and allegations of foreign interference. Implication is Chinese don't belong, anyone Chinese is suspect, anyone Asian who can be mistaken for Chinese is suspect. And that, those are part of a toolkit that have been around for more than 100 years. Businessman Brant Louie echoed that sentiment. His grandfather came to Canada in 1896 and founded a successful business that now includes London Drugs. For too long, many of our stories have been untold, ignored or overlooked. I believe it is vital to our future that we understand our past. To help ensure a better future for Chinese Canadians. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Vancouver.